Okay, good morning. Let's start. Thank you for joining us. Today we are going to share with you the mission to Vaca Muerta that is going to be in October from the 24th to the 25th in Neuquén, Argentina. Uh, next. So as part of the mission, we are going to have a summit that uh, we, are going, we are going to see also in this presentation. Next. So this is our, our speaker today. We have Ariel Masoud, that is uh, um, our director and treasurer in the chamber. Alberto Vázquez, that is the director and the president of the Energy uh, Committee. Tomás Lanardoner, that is also director and is founding partner of the and head of the Neuquén office of MHR and Tim Tarpley, that is the Energy Workforce and Technology Council President. I am Ariel Bosio, Argentina Texas Chamber Vice President. Next. These are our sponsors so, uh, so far. Silver Sponsor, DPI, United Airlines, Duxa Oil, Incomet, and Suliar, and Bronze Sponsors, Flow, Transseparation, and MHR. The supporting organization, we have a backup from the government and governmental agencies in Argentina and US, such as the embassies, consulate, and the government of Neuquén and Rio Negro. And also there are several chambers and professional associations that are also supporting this here in US and in Argentina. For example, the Great Houston Partnership, AMCHAM, CEIPA, GAP, Capesque, Capipe and CEP. Um, next. So before going to the agenda, you're going to, I want to share with you that we are going to have several speakers. They are going to go through the presentation. And at the end of the presentation, we are going to have a Q&A section. For that specific session, I would like to invite you to post your questions during the presentation in the Q&A uh, section in Zoom or in the chat. So at the moment that we kick off the Q&A, we are able to directly go to those questions and start to answer them. Well, hope, I hope you enjoy the presentation and you join us in this mission. Go ahead, Tim. Thanks, Ariel. Um, just briefly to talk through the agenda of how we're gonna work um, the presentation today. First, we're gonna talk about you know, why Vaca Merta. Um, we're gonna give an overview. Uh, of, of the field and the opportunities there. We're gonna talk about the production and infrastructure investment plans in the region. We're gonna talk about Argentina's opening to foreign investments through new legislation. And we're gonna talk about the mission agenda, activities and logistics. We can move to the next um, slide. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Tim Tarpley, I'm president of the Energy Workforce and Technology Council. We're the National Trade Association for Energy Services and Technology Companies, representing about 200 uh, companies that operate, you know, both domestically in the United States, but all around the world. And, uh, you know, Argentina is one of the growth areas we see for our members. That's why we're you know, very happy to partner with um, the, the uh, ATCC to host this, this trade mission. Um, and, and the reason why we see so much opportunity there is, is for these reasons we're going to talk about today. Um, the Vaca Merte is one of the top three unconventional oil and gas resources in the world. Um, it's the second largest unconventional oil and gas development in the world. Um, the master infrastructure plan is to max out production for exports. Um, big part of this is oil field services. Um, you know, that's obviously what our trade association uh, represents. Uh, the providers are at full capacity and we are working, we've worked for many years to bring more service companies to the region. We think there's opportunity, certainly there's challenges, but there's there's an opportunity for growth and we want to bring in more of, of, of U.S. companies that, that we represent to the region. Uh, and the business environment is rapidly improving. There's a lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of good things happening uh, and we're, we're happy to see that and, and we think opportunities will continue. Go ahead, next slide, I'll turn it back over to the group. <clears throat> okay, now let's have a quick overview regarding Vaca Muerta today. There you can see a map Argent uh, that you can see Argentina that is in South America, and you can see where the Vaca Muerta formation is located from Buenos Aires. Next. So here you have more details on 
regarding where Vaca Muerta is located, is shared by four provinces. The main one is Neuquén, where we are going to go with the mission. Then the formation extends to Mendoza, to the north, La Pampa to the east, and Rio Negro to the uh, south. And we are going to have also representation from Rio Negro in the summit. Then you have also some pictures regarding the activity there, the drilling and completion activity, and also the facilities. Uh, next. So talking about uh, CAPEX, what is important is that the CAPEX, the CAPEX is increasing every year. Last year was 7 billion. This year is 9 million billion. Part of the CAPEX is uh, due to the infrastructure needs, but also the drilling and completion activity continue improving. Next. Regarding production, what you see there is the Argentine current production is about 600 million, uh, thousand, uh, million barrels uh, a day. Sorry, uh, I will come back. Say 600,000 barrels a day. And what is important is that in just in few years, Guacamorta went from zero to represent 50% of the Argentina oil and gas production. And it's continue growing. So we, saw, we have seen that first the investment went from conventional to unconventional, and now unconventional continue growing. Regarding operators, we have 11 players there. We have a good combination of Argentine companies and uh, international companies. The main one is YPF. YPF concentrates 50% of activity. Then we have Tech Petrol, Vista, Pampa, Plus Petrol, and Pan American Energy. And on the international side, we have uh, Phoenix, Chevron, Shell, Total, and ExxonMobil. Next, we are in the drilling activity. So far, we have 3,000 online wells in Baca Muerta that are producing oil and gas. And the current pace for the drilling activities are more or less 300 wells a year. What we can see regarding the oil field services is that currently we have 32 rigs and eight uh, frag spreads. The issue there is that we don't have new equipment. So the, all the rigs that you have seen are rigs that were removed from conventional to unconventional. And there are no rigs for, I think, in the last, no new rigs in the last 10 years. And we have a very severe constraint there. And finally, midstream, in last year we have a new gas pipeline that goes from Neuquén to Buenos Aires in order to uh, supply that region uh, with gas. Then the government is working on the reversion of the northern uh, gas pipeline in order to take uh, uh, Baca Muerta gas from Neuquén to the northern provinces of Argentina. And in addition, we have uh, several additional projects under evaluation. Later on, we are going to talk about them in the presentation. So if we have to summarize this, and uh, next. So when we compare with Permian, in few words, is Baca Muerta is like per Permian regarding the potential, but right now it has one twentieth of the activity that is in Permian. So the, the room to grow is amazing and this is an opportunity for everybody thank you next hello well hello to everyone my name is ariel masud i'm going to take to talk about the growth and potential of paca muerta as ariel mentioned in the in the previous slide um there are a, a strong fundamental for vaca muerta to grow in the in the future and also to have a large impact in the Argentine economy. As you can see in the left side of the, of the slide, uh, Baca Muerta is a, a strongly impact to the macroeconomic conditions of Argentina, uh, allowing to increase uh, the, the energy trade balance, allowing also to, uh, to, to take more uh, US dollar to the balance of payment of Argentina and also contributing 
to stabilize our macroeconomic condition. Yes, as you can see in the in this graph, you can see that currently from Baca Muerta we are uh, also from 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 another uh, conventional fields, but mostly from 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 Baca Muerta we are exporting around one uh, uh, one thousand. Uh, and 68 uh, thousand barrels per, per day of, of oil yes in Argentina uh, if we uh, that that level of export are uh, <clears throat> similar of, of the those those volume that we uh, we export at the end of the 19th uh, so it's very very important for for Argentine economy and also for for uh, for stabilize the, the the macroeconomic condition as I mentioned, uh, what the, the 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 strong fundamental for Vaca Muerta is that our uh, currently uh, evacuation and transport infrastructure infrastructure uh, investment that that could allow to to unlock the export potential, both for shale oil and shale gas. Currently, uh, we it's under construction or several oil pipeline. The main is the Vaca Muerta Sur that uh, could uh, allow us to, to export about $10 billion per year uh, from shale oil export by three or four years. Uh, that also will allow to, to double rig and frac activity, yes, from the, from the levels Ariel Bosio mentioned in the last slide. Uh, but also we are not, uh, uh, our oil opportunities uh, we have gas opportunities from Baca Muerta, uh, as we are, as we mentioned, um, there are ongoing investment of about one point five billion dollar in the natural gas system to uh, to reduce uh, natural gas import uh, for for peaks and and and, and winter days. Yes, uh, that uh, are uh, that that could allow also to substitute. Uh, diesel imports uh, and diesel use in, 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 in several electricity generation and also uh, contributing to reduce uh, uh, natural gas imports and, and allowing us to, to increase uh, uh, our, um, our dollars uh, from, the, from the payment balance, yes? Uh, as you can see, the the the, the real uh, game changer for for Vaca Muerta is the Argentina LNG project that uh, YPF and, and Petronas uh, JB are uh, currently working on. Uh, that uh, project has a, a, a recently um, has a a, a a localization in the in the Rio Negro province. Yes, near the Golfo San Matias, and uh, if uh, if this uh, this this project uh, come online in around six or seven year, we could uh, invest around um, or we could export around uh, ten mil ten billion dollars uh, in in natural gas or in LNG to the world. So uh, this is a very 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 strong. Possibility that is uh, allowed by by uh, the competitiveness of Baca Muerta in right now. Next, please. Thank Tom. you, Ariel. Thank you, Ariel. Uh, my name is Tomás Anardón. Uh, Ten years ago, uh, together with a team, I opened an office in Neuquén, the big law firm based in, in Buenos Aires. So why I mentioned this? Because 10 years ago, we had a major amendment of the Federal Helicopters Law that created the shale concession, you know, a 35 year concession that allowed producers to carry out their pilot programs within that concession and then move forward to full development during the rest of the years. And back then, the only project was, you know, shale oil Loma Campana and shale gas El Orejano. And 10 years later, you have more than 40 shale concessions. Uh, the, the risking of Vaca Muerta and, and, and the growth uh, in production has been amazing, but
But now we're facing an exponential growth, as as, as team Ariel and, and 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 both Ariel mentioned before, and regulation contributed to that. If if you're talking about Argentina, your first impression would be instability. Uh, in our sector, believe me, uh, the Hydrocarbons Law was enacted in 1967. We still have the same law with amendments which were always market friendly. The 2014 amendment created the shale concession. Um, 2017, 2019, we needed to amend the midstream regulation to allow sheep or pay contracts for crude oil projects and, and gas projects too, gas pipelines. So the regulation was amended to foster those projects. And we already have, have the Vaca Muerta gathering pipeline, uh, the Duplicar project in, in Old del Val, the revamping of the Trasandino that exports crude oil to Chile, new projects that Ariel Masud mentioned just before, G, before uh, me. Um, and just two months ago, we had a new amendment to the oil and gas law that created uh, an export regime of firm and long-term permits. So all these projects that will contribute to this exponential growth uh, will be allowed to exercise this right to export on a firm and long-term basis. Uh, the amendment also clarified and, and sort of set in stone the principle of free prices in the domestic market, which was another point of concern for many, many foreigners. Uh, basically, the absence of the power from the government to intervene and interfere in domestic crude oil and gas prices. And it also uh, established certain regulations of free access to the development of new businesses in the midstream uh, and, and underground gas storage uh, sector. You know, a, a lot of oil storage, underground gas storage, uh, treatment facilities, pipelines now do not require any type of, you know, public auction or concession, but rather it's a dynamic and, and free access system under the regulation. Okay, so I also see the possibility of, of exponential growth in the midstream uh, sector. Uh, just to finish, we are probably all of us here uh, heard about the RIGI or RIGI, uh, this investment regime, which is open to the oil and gas and infrastructure sectors. We'll need to see how the federal executive will further regulate the law that was already passed. But bottom line, the RIGI establishes multiple stability clauses in terms of regulation applicable to the project, access to FX, to dollars, tax stability, tax incentives, arbitration in case of any dispute with the government. Uh, so it's uh, it's considered to be the best uh, investment regime of the past 40 years, better than the mining regime of the 90s, uh, and better than any other oil and gas investment regime that was created, for example, in 2013, to foster the Chevron Loma Campana project. Okay, so just a glimpse of this. Uh, I'm, I'm open to further questions later. Hello? Yeah, go ahead, uh, Alberto. Okay, well, thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. My name is Alberto Vázquez. I'm uh, um, uh, supporting the Argentinian Texas uh, Chamber of Commerce as director for the energy chapter. And I'm going to uh, uh, walk you through the, uh, the agenda of what we call the mission to Baca Muerta. Uh, after all, you heard on uh, the why Baca Muerta, the growth potential, and uh, the low uh, um, environment that we're living in and, and setting Baca Muerta as a great uh, opportunity to walk. Um, we would like to, um, to put together something uh, more than uh, what we have as a main play that we call it the summit. So uh, um, next slide, please. So we put together um, uh, um, uh, a full um, plate of uh, uh, opportunities for those that would like to join us in the, in the, uh, in the mission. Um, complementing the opportunity to participate in the summit uh, with um, 
coordinating an oil field trip uh, for you to have a best opportunity to visit uh, uh, operations there, have a, a visit uh, uh, with uh, um, a business round, and then obviously participating in the main plate, what I call the summit, and uh, uh, finally, have the chance to participate and visit the uh, the oil and gas expo in uh, in uh, Neuquén, Argentina. So, um, walk me through the next slide, please, Lucas. So, the oil field trip, uh, and that's how the the mission started. is a is a full day event, uh, starting from uh, um, the city of Neuquén, uh, for the um, uh, with the main intention of visiting. Uh, real and actual operating uh, facilities uh, in um, uh, one of the uh, fields nearby Neuquén, which is Añelo. Añelo is a, an hour and a half uh, uh, ago from the city. And from there, um, you will have the chance to uh, be there in uh, some of the key operators in, uh, in Baca Muerta and visit uh, the actual operations that they have there. Have the chance to... Um, not only to see the operation uh, drilling completion, but also midstream facilities, uh, but uh, more importantly, to see with your own eyes and understand um, what are the gaps, uh, what are the logistic challenges that we are, uh, or Vaca Muerta is facing today, and what may potentially be the uh, supply chain risk that uh, um, will be um, associated to, to that. So all of that, uh, the intention is for you to see uh, first side of what the operation is and what uh, opportunities may uh, uh, may see in terms of uh, um, uh, business opportunities to uh, to develop and develop making uh, Baca Muerta in uh, itself. Go next, please. On the second day, uh, and sorry, before I go back to the to the previous one. Uh, on that uh, that day, and just to finish the day, we're going to have uh, the round of visits uh, through the day. Uh, we have lunch in Agnello and uh, uh, continue visiting in the afternoon. And then on our way back, we have a plan to uh, to have a nice stop in a, uh, in a boutique winery where we're going to have a networking uh, cocktail event. So you can relax there and also uh, kind of uh, share uh, your point of view, what you have just seen. So that it's a full day event, and we believe it's, it's going to be uh, super interesting for, for those uh, coming in and visiting uh, Baca Muerta for the first time. Next time, please. The business round is the next day. And on the next day, during the morning, we are um, coordinating uh, for you to have one-on-one -on -one meetings with key operators that uh, um, are participating in the, in the mission and operators uh, and service company that will also be uh, in the city uh, uh, participating in the uh, Expo Oil and Gas. So great opportunity for, for having uh, meetings one-on-one -on -one with them, understand uh, uh, what are the opportunities, develop some relationships that will be extremely necessary uh, and uh, um, actually very important to uh, uh, to explore opportunities there and obviously identify um, local support that will be absolutely necessary for um, uh, supporting your business over there. Next, please. The Vaca Muerta mission, uh, a second day, and the main plate is the summit. Uh, the summit uh, is the second summit that the Argentinian uh, um, Texan uh, Chamber of Commerce uh, um, organized in Neuquén. Uh, is a, a fantastic opportunity to have uh, and to hear from the main key players uh, what are the opportunities, the challenges, the growth uh, that you will see out of Baca Muerta. And, and when we see um, opportunities from every, every angle, we mean uh, we're going to have speakers uh, and active participation from um, from the ambassador of uh, the United States in Argentina, uh, from the governors of Neuquén and Rio Negro, two of the uh, uh, province that holds uh, the Baca Muerta field. Uh, we're going to have the participation of uh, uh, key consulting firms like SMP, Global and Accelerate. Uh, going to have uh, um, uh, entities like the um, Energy Workforce uh, uh, team, basically uh, helping us and supporting uh, as a speaker. And we'll have uh, operators from uh, um, Baca Muerta uh, also acting as a speaker. So um, a fantastic event to hear firsthand from uh, the main players in the uh, in the uh, field of, of what are they needing 
to continue development and continue producing and growing in Baca Muerta. Uh, just to give up a, a glimpse of uh, what has been uh, or what it is, this, uh, this type of event, what could be for you. Uh, we have more than 200 C, uh, C level um, executive that participated last year um, with more than 500 streaming attendees that day uh, and an impact that was extensively covered by the uh, local media in Argentina and with more than 40,000 social media interactions, which was great in, uh, in promoting the event and uh, expanding the voice of this event. Next, please. Uh, the third day, um, we have a, a coordinated or a guided visit to the Argentinian Oil and Gas Expo uh, in the uh, city in, uh, of Neuquén. Um, you will have the chance to visit the, uh, the, the most important uh, um, oil and gas expo that we uh, that Argentina has today, uh, with more than 250 uh, expositors and uh, uh, 10,000 visitors. Uh, extremely important for Argentina, especially uh, this year with all the changes happening and uh, with all the uh, growth opportunities that we are seeing in the, uh, in the sector. Um, needless to say, a uh, great opportunity to continue expanding on uh, uh, the relationship uh, um, of the mission, uh, explore and see what is uh, available there, what potential opportunities you may develop with um, local companies to expand and offer more or uh, support what, uh, what they're doing with uh, um, local technology here in Texas. Okay, next please. Uh, finally, um, just to present the table of uh, the sponsorships and uh, the registration, we have several brackets for uh, the participation. Um, the uh, uh, brackets on uh, uh, Silver On includes the participation on the mission itself. Uh, what we call the mission is the full package of events, uh, including the uh, uh, the field trip, uh, the day trip, and uh, and all the events associated with the business round and all of that. And the uh, uh, the different brackets will give you the opportunity to have uh, uh, participation with uh, uh, larger sizes of uh, logo in the marketing package, with uh, uh, institutional video that you may incorporate it in the marketing uh, uh, event, and uh, um, also provide uh, uh, access with uh, uh, summit tickets for uh, you know people or uh, whatever you decide to uh, to attend. We have defined it uh, <clears throat> um, on early bird discount uh, for um, the um, sponsorship and registration uh, set for uh, September 16. Um, needless to say, we uh, the event itself, especially the uh, the mission, has limited. Uh, um, uh, availability is a is a small event, uh, as you can imagine. We uh, we can only coordinate this for a small uh, piece of people. So um, the availability of uh, uh, the field trips and all that will be uh, definitely limited. And uh, in there, you will see the um, registration link. So um, any interest uh, on your side, you will have it uh, all the information right there. So um, please. Uh, Contact us in case you have any question, but uh, um, we we want to say thank you in advance, and we really um, would like to see uh, participation from uh, an interest on uh, on the Texan side of uh, companies in in this event. As uh, again, we see a lot of potential and growth and opportunities for expanding the uh, commercial uh, relationship with Argentina and especially with Macamorta. Thank you. Well, thank you to uh, all the speakers. It was a great presentation. What we're gonna do now is have some Q and A. So uh, it, the way that we're gonna work this is just please type your question into the chat and then we will direct it to the proper speaker to answer the question. Well, we... Uh... Don't see any questions coming coming in. Everyone's being uh, being a little shy. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Well, a Ariel, do you want to? Um, oh, here we go. Oh no, that's a that's a link to the event here. Ariel, do you want to um, wait for a little bit, or or how do you want to work it? No, well, I think that uh, what is important to share is anybody has any additional question after this presentation, you can contact the um, the chamber. The you can use the info email or uh, directly the phone number there. Uh, somebody in our team can uh, basically evacuate any question that you have. In the case of the people that come from the Energy Council, uh, Energy Workforce and Technology Council, you can touch base with Tim and his team. And we are working, we are <laughs> continue working together to continue adding speakers in the summit, continue adding additional side activities in the mission. But something important to mention and highlight is that the capacity is very limited. So, and in addition to that, flight to Neuquén and the hotels in Neuquén, where to stay, is also limited. So if you plan to go, do it, uh, hurry up, uh, book the, maybe a reservation for the mission and also coordinate with us uh, or by yourself the flight and hotel as soon as, soon as possible. So having said that, uh, thank you, Ariel, Tomás, Alberto, and Tim for your great presentation and share your insight. And thank you everybody for participating and attending this meeting. You are very welcome to evacuate any question uh, after the presentation. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Great. Bye, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye.